Okay, I finally took a look at that video that I just put up there um, yesterday, and I almost had a heart attack because you can't hear a, a thing with all the sound. Uh, there's some screeching noise. Shows you I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But I figure I talk real quick about some of the things that I'm doing and just kind of rehash everything. Uh, I am making that huge dungeon, and um, I think I talked about these molds. And in case you didn't, couldn't hear because of uh, the squealing and all that stuff, um, I'm actually making a couple more so I can mass produce. Matter of fact, here's one right now. If you look on the bottom, well, of course you can't look on the bottom, but uh, of course there's a label there. I just took a, I just took a regular container and just kind of sprayed some stuff in there, and and voila. Insto uh, container for making molds. And all I'm doing is putting these blocks in there. Uh, let me grab a couple here. And you can see, uh, you see all the texture that I was talking about yesterday. And how they're, uh, they're very much like tiles. And the nice thing about it is they're a little bit bigger than the, dun the Dwarven Forge. Um, so, if we took a war machine guy, you can see he's got plenty of room on each square. Where if I tried to do it on the dungeon for it, it would be a little tight and hanging over and the hallways would just be a mess. Uh, I'm doing this on a massive scale. These are, this is some of the texture, and I'm going to hold this up here, uh, of the walls. And you can see that, uh, I'm really going for that castle wall look, which is something uh, different. Um, it's a bigger piece. Uh, I think I'm going to cut this down in half. Um, I know the Dwarven Forge only comes up to about here, but I want it to be a little bit taller than, than the figure, so you get that depth and that feel that you're inside there. Um, here's one of the molds that I made, as you can see. Um, yeah, I'm going to definitely have to make something to, uh, if you watched the video yesterday, I actually used a, a good piece of plastic in there so I can uh, mold it and then split it in half, which when they finally dried, I did split them in half. Uh, this dungeon's going to be huge. Um, I'm pouring a couple more uh, molds here. Uh, Here's a little 4x4 four four piece, 4x6, four uh, I've got a couple of smaller pieces here, and I'm actually going to use as rubble, uh, I was pouring some chests, got to have treasure chests in a dungeon of course. Uh, here's a little bit of a smaller piece, so maybe it can be like a stoop or something. Um, when I'm done with this, it's going to be something pretty amazing at that.